Okay, good afternoon and welcome to Ian Tolina on Hilchos Tefila Simen Kuf Ches, 108 in Arachayim. We're talking about Tashlumen. Um, this is not, this year is not directly about Tashlumen. It's about something that relates relates to Tashlumen. And Halakhas Yud Aleph and Yud Bey is the last two Halakhas of the Simen I want to talk about. Um, Yud Aleph says, Tava Mincha Shal Shabbos, is Palash Monashar, Lahish Shal Shabbos. It's Mincha on Shabbos. He didn't realize it was Mincha. So, you dive into regular Shmon Esther, you thought it was Mincha Shal Chol. Um, Mispal Mote Shabbos Shtayim, Nalach Shachar Ach Paskins, you have to make it up. You weren't Yotze, or were you Yotze? If Eno Mavda Vashnia, so you make Avdal in the first one, not Avdal in the second one. The second one is Tashlum. Mispal Oza Batoras Nadova. However, the second one should be done Batoras Nadova. Eno Sarak Machadish Badova, you don't have to Machadish Badova because the Mishnah explains it's a suffix, Machlokis Rishonim. Let's read the Mishnah Burr. Yeshua was a Machlokis. Hatos was Pashem Maris, Viralu. They ain't sort of lax or He said, if you made a mistake, you dive in a weekday Shmona Esrei during Mincha of Shabbos, you don't have to make it up. The Hakvar is Pal Shmona Esrei, Rak Shachal Shal Shabbos. All you missed was Minyano Shal Yom. So you're Yotze, the Tfila, you didn't mention Shabbos. She asked him, this Pal Shmona Esrei, Leoskir Shal Shabbos, Maya Vyach was at Tash So you're going to make it up at Mara and dive into Mara's, but the whole purpose is to make up mentioning Shabbos. And you, when you dive in Tash Lumen, you dive in two Mara's of Mote Shabbos, you're not going to mention Shabbos. So what do you, what do you, what does it help to do it, to make it up? Chachme Provincia, I guess it's a place in France. Svir Luhu, Demashin Espala, Shmona Esrei, Below Shabbos, Heavy Kilo Espala, Klal. Kemosh Allah Sakadin. If you didn't dive and mention Shabbos, it's like you didn't dive at all. And the same Achlogos would apply. Um, as the Shulchan Aruch continues, Vuhu, Adin Luhu, Hizkir, Yalav, Yalav, Mincha. Right, Mincha, uh, you didn't mention Yalav, Yavu. So if you don't say Yalav, Yalav, Yavu, Maoro, Shalyom, right, the, the, the highlight of the day, Mena um, Maura, you didn't say Yalav Yavu, and now it's Marav, you're going to take two Maravs, and it's no longer Rosh Chodesh. So, what's the point, according to Tosa, the Re, of making it up? You're not commanded for Rosh Chodesh, you're already Yosi, the Tilash Manesre. So, this Machlokas factors in, and that's why the Shulchan Arach Paskins, that <clears throat> you make a second Abaturus and Dava, because according to the Re, which is one of the Bali Tosas, one of the main opinions over here, you don't have to do a tefillah uh, tashlumen. According to the other opinion, you do a tefillah tashlumen, so it's a suffix when you need tashlumen. So you, therefore, you dominate a tefillah tashlumen, and the suffix is like your mechadish wadavar, like you saw at the beginning of Simon Kov Zayin, 107. Now, <clears throat> what exactly is this machlokas? Let's explain this machlokas a little more. Uh, I like to explain this machlokas based on, we're talking about a Ksubos a lot, about whether tanai is considered milsa, harisi or not. Uh, when you make a, uh, an agreement, a monetary agreement or any type of agreement, and you make a contingency plan in that agreement, contingency, it's based on, right, I'll tonight, I'm making this deal, this monetary deal, I'll be my cottage to you, or I'll, I'll get married to you on condition you give me $200 or something like that. So you make the marriage dependent on a tonight, a stipulation, a contingency. So to what degree is that tonight considered part of the statement, right? What you're doing over the Misa, the Makadish, you have a Kedushan, or, or is it not part of it? Is it fully part of it, or is it or does it have less degree, less value than, for example, if you do it tonight, not in the right ways, a chazal said to make it tonight, not like tonight b'nei gad b'nei ruvin. You didn't make uh, make all the, you know, the proper statements, the proper potency of your tonight. You know, you didn't give it the potency that it needs to be a tonight. Is it considered a valid tonight or not? We said it's malchus right mayor. If you do that's the way I explained it, and right mayor seems to hold that tonight milsach risi is considered independent. If you do it's tonight. Is considered to be, um, even if you don't have Mishpat Tanaim, you don't like B'nai Big Yad or Ruvain, it's considered integral to the deal. It's part of the deal. Contingency is no less uh, no less value than the actual words of the deal, the Maisa, Kedushin. So here also, Meinam Aura. is Meinam Aura, it's sort of like a tonight. It's a stipulation that you have to damage one essay, plus you have to do something else. I mentioned Shabbos, during Shabbos. I mentioned Rosh Chodesh, Yalav Yavo. So it's a contingency. So we pass like Rabbi Yehuda. So basically, I would say the Machlokes Rishonim over here is basically whether we assume Tanai Milsa Achrisi or we apply Tanai Milsa Achrisi when it comes to this stipulation. It's a Tanai. It's stipulating that the Shmona Esra, but today is also Shmona Esra Yala of Rosh Chodesh of Shabbos. So according to the Re, the Re says the Yote Tanai Milsa Achrisi Tanai. Right, Rosh Chodesh or Shabbos is not integral as integral to the Shmona Esra. As the Shmon Asher itself, Yilchad Brachos, that's the Shmon Asher. Adding on Shabbos is important, but it's not the most important thing. So, 
You're Yotze Bidi Evid if you didn't mention Shabbos or Rosh Chodesh. You're Yotze, you're Shmona Esrei. You're missing on the Tanai the contingency of mentioning Rosh Chodesh or mentioning Shabbos, but now Shabbos or Rosh Chodesh is over, so there's no point in davening a Tashlumen. According to Chachmei Provincia, they say no. Tanai is integral. The Lais Yalvi Yavo, Mena Maura, is an integral part of the Tfilah. If you don't daven it, the whole Tfilah is based on that, right? If the Tanai is not performed, then the whole Maisa is bottle. The whole Tfilah is bottle. The whole davening is bottle over here. That's the way I like to explain the Machlokas re- and the Chachmei Provincia. I would like to say this is related to the Machlokas in the last Sif, Sif Yud Beis. Let's say you said Yalav Yavo on a day that's not Rosh Chodesh, right? According to the Shulchan Aruch, it's a heavy hafsaka. It's not a hafsaka. The Mishra Rurim is a daya. Then he says that it's like sicha. It's like sicha. It's like talking in the middle of the tefillah because you're saying something that's irrelevant to the tefillah. It's not Rosh Chodesh today. So therefore, it has halakhas like we saw in Simon Kofdal that you have to eat, either go back to the beginning of the bracha if you're in the middle of Shmon Es, right? Or if you're at the beginning of the end of Shmon Es, you have to go back to the beginning of the three brachos or the beginning of the last three brachos. And then there's one asterisk because it's like a half sakha, it's a half sake, not like the Shulchan Aruch. Now, like I can say, this, this machlokas between the Shulchan Aruch and this Deya and the Mishabura is the same machlokas, the Ri and the Chachmai Provincia. If you hold that Rosh Chodesh is considered Tanai Milsa, Chrisi, like, and your Yotze, if you don't mention it, Yotze Shmona Esra, at least according to the Ri, so the same thing over here, that <clears throat> it's Milsa, Chrisi, it's considered to be. Um, it's considered to be, if you said the wrong thing, so it's not really related, it's not as integral to the tefillah, it's something apart from the tefillah. If it's a contingency apart from the tefillah, so that's like sicha, like the Mishra Buddha said, you're, you're, you're interrupting your tefillah with something not part of the tefillah. However, according to the Chalmai Provincia, it's an integral part of the tefillah, so therefore, I made a mistake. I said Yalav Yavo, but Yalav Yavo is part of a tefillah during Rosh Chodesh, so now it's not Rosh Chodesh, but it's part of your tefillah, it's an integral part of the tefillah, so yes, I said something I didn't have to say, but is it like Sicha Betel? Is it like talking about nothing? No, I'm talking about Shmon Esrei. These are words of Shmon Esrei. It's an integral part of Shmon Esrei. Integral part of Shmon Esrei, like the Shulchan Aruch says, Lo Hevi Afsaka. It's not considered Afsaka. You're just talking words of Shmon Esrei, right? If I would repeat a bracha in Shmon Esrei, I repeat words in, in the bracha, uh, saying bracha, I really want Parnassah, I say the same bracha a hundred times. It's not a Afsaka, because that's part of your tefillah. Same thing, Yala Yavu, even though it's not Rosh Chodesh, it's part of the words of tefillah. It's integral part of the tefillah, so therefore, according to the Shulchan, it wouldn't be Afsaka. I would say that's the Chafim Provincia's Shita. The Ri would hold that it would be a Sicha Betela, and therefore, you have to go back to the beginning of the Bracha or the beginning of the set of three Brachas. Hope you enjoyed it today. Share. See you in the next one.